I am just shaking my head at this. I'm going to combine two stories here that that are uh, of the same subject matter. That's so disgusting. All right. <clears throat> First, I'll start with another natural news story. The title, Black Lives Matter Goes Anti-Semitic, Anti-White, Anti-Jew, which I kind of thought anti-Semitic was anti-Jew, but maybe it's anybody who supports Jews would be the anti-Semitic part, right? Uh, that's how I'm taking it. Black Lives Matter militants and terrorists are now going full <laughs> and um, I'm sorry, full anti-Semitic demanding not just the killing of whites but the destruction of Israel and the United States. Okay, they're demanding the destruction of Israel and the United States. What do they want us to do? Self-destruct? Hundreds of armed black militants marched over the weekend demanding the U.S. government give them, give them, mind you, not sell them, no, Give them a large tract of land to create a, quote, black ethnostate, unquote, which would exist in a state of war with the United States of America. Well, there's a huge bunch of land out west where... Like desert land that nobody lives in. They could have all that. Maybe they could figure out a way to bring water in there and grow crops. No, I'm just kidding. I don't mean to make light of this. This is very serious. <laughs> you know, there was a time when the settlers were coming over. When people could just get a plot of land given to them, however much they wanted, because they wanted the country to be settled, uh, farmed, uh, hunted, whatever. They wanted people to come over. They said, free land, free land, uh, out, you know, past like Ohio and, and beyond. You could get free land. So, um, anyway, that's not true anymore, okay? It, somebody owns it. I mean, really, the, the desert, I don't know who owns the desert, but there, there's, you know, when I went to get this dog, we drove and drove and drove, and there was so much land with not a house on it. But somebody owns it. If, if it's not, a, a, like a regular Joe, a regular person, the country owns it. Or the state of Alabama owns it. Somebody owns it. And, and, it need, and it has to be purchased now. Anyway, so they want to exist in a state of war with the USA. <laughs> I mean, that sentence alone is like crazy give us a whole bunch of land so we can exist in a state of war with you okay i'll move on meanwhile hundreds of u.s corporations continue to fund and support black militants and terrorists who are increasing their demands by the way, their demands, by the way, Nike, Netflix, McDonald's, Reebok, hi sweetie, hello, 
and other brands are siding with the terrorists against America. And that's what they are. They have become terrorists. And I'm going to prove that to you in a minute. Uh, they're terrorists against America and against Jews. This is the new tolerance of the left. Okay? Okay, that's my right hand of the left. See the shocking full story and videos here. All right, I will put the link to that so you can see the full story. Now, let me go back up one to a video sent to us by Ellen Lawrence. Black Lives Matter protesters shoot an eight-year-old girl in Atlanta. Wasn't accidental. Let me tell you about this. All right. Listen to this. You you got to listen to this beginning. Say Black Lives Matter. I hope you can you catch your own. Catch your own this time. This is the father. Just because of barrier, they killed my baby because she crossed the barrier and made a U-turn. You killed a child. She didn't do nothing to nobody. They didn't give us time to make a U-turn. They started shooting on my car before we could even make a U-turn. Shooting my tires out. Like, why? What Black Lives Matter? The mother is saying they didn't even get to make a U-turn. The Black Lives Matter protesters or terrorists, as the other article called them, shot black people for... Because she got off the interstate and crossed a barrier that had been taken down by the police and they put it back up. And they said, you make a U-turn and go. Go that way or whatever. Uh, Anthony Brian Logan, who is also a black man, or should I say man of color, but they call, you know, they're calling themselves black, so I guess I can. Uh, it's, you know, the politically correct way to say things is always changing, so I'm, I'm not always up to date on that. Anyway, they shot into her car, trying to kill them. And a bullet, well, they were shooting her tires out. How could she turn around and leave if they was shooting her tires out? Now, we don't find out here if the driver of the car, it could have been the mother, it could have been the woman she was with, might have said something smart like, uh... We're black too. Why are you talking to us like that? Or something? I mean, I don't know because that's not reported. Would that cause them? I mean, what would cause them to start shooting if they're talking about black lives mattering? Okay, if that's really what they're all about, why would they shoot at this car to keep it from going, a U making the U turn? That they already told her to make. And the bullet goes through the back of the car and into the little girl's back and killed her. Killed her. A little eight year old girl. And I found out that the shooting at the Galleria had nothing to do with Black Lives Matter, by the way. I wanted to let you all know that was July the 3rd. There was some guys. Hanging out at the food court. They all had guns. They got into an argument. They all pulled their guns at each other. Now, is it not ridiculous? I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. Help us, these people. What are they doing carrying guns into the Galleria? Why are there not metal detectors at every door and security if they want to keep these malls open? And believe me, that mall brings in millions of dollars. They want to keep it open. 
Well, this little girl is sitting with a neighbor who asks, could she go along with her child and their babysitter, 17 years old, just to have some fun at the Galleria. And one shoots at the other, the one's arguing at their table, misses him, Apparently there were a couple guns went off. One hit a three-year-old, eight-year-old, about to go into third grade. The other hit the 17-year-old and a couple of other people. Innocent bystanders. Bystanders. And the eight-year-old died. A two eight-year-olds dying the hands of do you hear it the three wedding bells it's 10:53 my phone must be in my wheelchair if it was sitting right here you'd have heard it i don't know if it'll pick that up or not three wedding bell well, church bells it sounds like church bells it just went off does it every day. This time it's 10.53. That's a 1.53 in there. Hmm. Yesterday it was 11 o'clock on the dot. Okay, anyway, back to this. All right. My baby was shot in her bed. Killing your own. Nobody got to hear You killed an eight-year-old child. Nobody. She ain't did nothing to now one of y'all. She just wanted to get home to see her cousin. That's all she wanted to do. She just wanted to get home. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about what you just saw, which was a father and a mother in Atlanta, Georgia, talking about Black Lives Matter taking the life of their eight-year-old daughter, Sequoia Turner. Now, this was really sad, really unfortunate. Um, I'm not even really sure where to begin. I guess the first thing would be to explain a little bit of the context behind what they were saying, and then we'll get into what's actually going on in my humble opinion about it. Now, the mother, as you saw in the video, got off of the interstate at the University Boulevard exit. Now, this particular part of the city had been blocked off intermittently because right off the exit is the Wendy's where Rayshard Brooks was shot and killed by police. You know, the guy that was drunk driving, passed out in the drive through The police come up to him, tell him to pull over, talk to him for like 45 minutes to an hour. They try to arrest him. He fights back, punches him in the face, steals the taser, fires at the cop, and then the cop shoots back. And then there's this whole big thing about Black Lives Matter, hands up, don't shoot, all this, that. And the third, talking about Ray Sharp Brooks as an innocent person. Not really so, but I digress for now. My whole point is that there was this whole big protest behind that. They burned the Wendy's down, and that particular area where the husk of the Wendy's is became kind of a mini chaz. Some so-called protesters, BLM protesters, that blocked that area off. Now, since this area... I laugh because this man has the longest fingers in the world, I believe. And he, when he does his quotes, it's just, uh, it, it cracked me up, that's all. It's not a funny, this is not funny. The matter is sad. It's, I can't believe the parents were, were, were not more angry. Anyway, I will leave the link to this video if you want to hear the rest of Anthony Brian Logan's opinion. Um, but yeah, this little girl ended up shot in Atlanta because of what happened at the Wendy's with the man that got shot by the police officers. Like that gave him a right? Did that give him the right to take her life? Thank God she went straight to heaven. I don't believe she would have been of the age of accountability. Some eight-year-olds maybe. 
not most of them. I'm going to end it here. And I pray this kind of thing ends soon. It's probably only going to escalate. But what's going to save our eight-year-olds is Jesus coming back. Well, calling us up. He's not coming here. He is not coming here. He will call us home. And they will go up. Along with those of us who are found ready and worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. And yes, that does mean rapture. There are plenty of scriptures that talk about, in it's the word is either raptos from the Latin or harpazo, which is Greek, to take, to snatch. We're going up because Jesus said we were. Anybody that puts a commentary in the comments that tries to tell me there is no rapture, I'm just deleting you. I'm not arguing. I have a video on my home page. If, you, if you're signed in and you're not a new visitor, I don't understand how this happens, but if you're logged in and you click on my my icon, the lion and the lamb. It'll take you to my home page. Or I think if you just click on my name or type in my name. But somehow if you're not if you're not signed in and you go to my name, you get my video on how to be saved. And I I don't understand why they did it that way, but anyway. There are scriptures with that video about how 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3 talks about the falling away. That means the departure. The departure. The Antichrist will not be revealed until the departure happens first. And that is the departure of the remnant. A few. A small part Okay, with that I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.